Hi, Tim from DME Holsters here. Um, last year, uh, Streamlight came out with the TLR7 subs. There's three different lights. There's the SIG, there's the GL, and the 1913S. Um, for some reason or another, somebody has led a lot of people to believe that the 1913S will fit on the Hellcat. Um, we've got our Hellcat here, clear, no mag. So it doesn't fit. If it'll, it'll fit on the rail, but you can't lock it in place. And we have tons of orders for this, and we're you know, finding out that it just doesn't work. So we do a lot of design stuff. And so what we did, we, we just simply designed a key that um, you can put in your TLR7 sub to get it to work on your Hellcat. And you know, it's very simple. We just stick it on there like that, just tighten it up, and it's gonna work just like any of the other keys that come with the, with the TLR7 sub, but you know, it's gonna fit the Hellcat. So you got it on there. Important thing to know about it is, is that when you put a light on your firearm, and you're gonna get a Kydex holster for it, we can't get retention on the trigger guard anymore. We have to get it on the light. That's why it's so important that it has a key in it because we have to know where it is so that we can get retention, so that you have that retention in your holster. And by making this key, now we have it. So what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna ship the key for free. You know, whenever we make a holster for a Hellcat with a TLR7 sub, we're gonna include a key so you can get it on there the way it's supposed to be. Now you may have it on there with it just clamped on the rail. Okay, that doesn't work for a holster from us because the retention's on the light. Um, so hopefully this will fix the problems and hope to see you soon.